Hello, and welcome to Sean's Test Bench. This is part three of the Blue Crossfire. I know a lot of you guys have been asking, where's part three? This is it. I took a little extra time to do this video because I wanted to be sure about my recommendations. I did some more research. I did run some tests on this desktop. Uh, I want to first start with why I built this PC. I mainly built this PC uh, because I want to show people in general that they can customize an OEM desktop. You don't always have to go out and buy an aftermarket case and motherboards and you know all this stuff. You can take an OEM desktop and turn it into a, a nice computer. Um, that was one of the reasons. Another reason I built this is because I never built a Crossfire, an AMD dual graphics uh, Crossfire PC where it utilizes a APU, uh, APU and a discrete graphics card. So I wanted to do that. That's another reason I built this PC. Um, my recommendations... This is not a powerful gaming computer. This is a desktop with powerful graphics. If you're just surfing the net, watching Blu-ray video, any, any video, it's going to play very good. It's going to play in high definition, and it's going to not lag. It's, it's going to do good. Um, it's not going to play Tomb Raider, the new Tomb Raider, GTA 5, or what's another one? Uh, just any of the newer games that have a very demanding graphics so this is a uh, I would recommend this desktop for somebody who wants to surf the net the SSD makes it very snappy and responsive uh, the parts I build it with are are uh, reliable parts it's gonna last a long time most likely this computer will be running long after the technology's passed it this will still be running uh, this will make a good desktop for somebody it's not going to make a really powerful gaming computer for somebody. So that's where it stands. A lot of hours went into this customization. It looks very nice. It doesn't look like the original compact computer it, it used to. So this is the wrap-up video for it. I'm going to... I was going to take the camera and move it and do some uh, more detailed video, but I think it might be best if I just do a... A slideshow and a voiceover. Uh, not only is it easier for me, but I'm not very good with the camera yet, and I want to. I want to. I want to make it as best as I can, and I think that that might be the way to go. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off. I also uh, got some uh, clips and a B-roll from Snagit editor, uh, Snagit screen editor, that I installed on here. And went over and made sure, you know, I show you that it's in dual graphics mode. I show open hardware running and it shows the spec. So I'll, I'll include that in this video, them clips from the from Snagit editor. So let me uh, shut the camera down and I'm going to take some real detailed sh shots. I'm going to go over a couple of the, the things that I think I missed in the first two videos. And then we'll wrap this up and then we'll go on to building the next PC. Okay, this is a screenshot from Snagit Editor. I'm just uh, going over, I'm going to open up uh, Catalyst Control Center and verify that it's in dual graphics mode. As you can see it is. And let's close this up and let's open up Open Hardware Monitor. And you can take a look at all of the, everything running on this. It'll show you fan speeds, clock speeds, temperatures. And as you can see, the this uh, graphics here is running, and so is the other one. So both graphics cards are running, or both uh, just both graphics are running. And we'll close that out. Here I was just playing with the uh, lighting. I did a short video. I was just going through some of the modes it has, and. There's the controller, as you can see all the buttons on there. And let's go through a little slideshow and then we'll wrap this video up.
Okay, well that's it for uh, part three of the blue crossbar. This is completed. I believe somebody's coming to get it tomorrow, so it should be sold. I sell every one of these that I build, I sell. I don't keep them. I have, I have a computer. I just do this for my hobby. So if you're interested in any of these computers I'm building, just uh, drop a, something in the comments. Or there's also a link. Uh, I'll, I'll leave in the description a link, the email address. You can get a hold of me if you want to. So that's it, and thank you for watching. And if you like these videos, subscribe. And you get notifications for my latest videos as they come out. And hit that like button. Thank you for watching.